Hi everybody and welcome back to the Upside Dan. Here is my spoiler free review of Halloween Kills. The saga of Michael Myers and Lori Strode continues in the next thrilling chapter of the Halloween series. This film is directed by David Gordon Green and written by Danny McBride, Scott Teams, and David Gordon Green. It is based on the characters created by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill. This movie stars Jamie Lee Curtis, Judy Greer, Andy Matichek, James Jude Courtney, Will Patton, Dylan Arnold, Robert Longstreet, Anthony Michael Hall, Charles Cyphers, Scott MacArthur, Michael McDonald, Kylie Richards, and Nancy Stevens. This movie is now in theaters and streaming exclusively on Peacock. So I was really excited for this film. I think the 2018 one was better than really anyone expected. I thought that they actually did a pretty good job with it. I do like it. I enjoy it. There are some really good scares in there. Of course, John Carpenter's score in all of these are is just amazing. I absolutely love his score. So it's good to hear that back again. The title sequence here, it just, you know, really puts you into this movie. I love the score with the opening credits and the imagery that's on the screen, like the jack lanterns that are lit up. And you know, the font used even, I, I really like, you know, everything about that. I'm a fan of Michael Myers. I have not seen all of the Halloween movies though, but I do, I do want to. So I will say this one has a lot, a lot of brutal kills. This one is the most violent entry I've seen in the franchise. Which is what I really like to see in a Halloween movie, a slasher. Yeah, I, I don't mind. I mean, I want my slashers to have a little bit more deepness at times. But really, I'm here to see Michael Myers kill people. Because I think that the, the violence and the gore, you know, it makes it even more scary and more, you know, tense and creepy. And it's really directed well, I believe, the, you know, the violence and the action in here. There was some suspenseful scenes. There was a few. There was a jump scare or two uh, here, there. I don't think it was too bad though. The violence is really where it focused on. And I thought that, you know, the, the kills were just brutal and really well done and just crazy. I had fun with it because of that. The story though is a little bit less, I don't know. I feel like the story leaves a lot to be desired. I think it's kind of choppy in places and kind of a little messy and kind of a corny story, you know, filled with, you know, a few people that just are not the best actors. And they're, you know, they're, they're delivering corny dialogue. They're delivering, they're going too over the top with it. They're almost like cartoonish in their decisions and the delivery of their lines and their performances. So I do, I, I think that some of it was too much. Some of this mob mentality and the mob scenes, you know, with all the, t and the people that really the scenes with all the townspeople were just a little too much at times, a little too over the top. It took me out of the movie a little bit, but honestly, I think that the kills make up for all of it. For the most part, there's still there's still a lot of flaws with this film, but I, I really had fun with it. I did think it was cool that a lot of the returning, you know, obviously you have Laurie Strode returning, Jamie Lee Curtis, she's always great, but you have like Lindsay's actress from the first one. You know, you, you have her returning as an adult and it's the actual actress. So I thought that that's a really cool thing. I love when series do that, when it fits. And I do think that it was good, you know, that they focused a little more on how this is all affecting the town and all of that. I wish that they did it better though. So I do think that, like I said, that some of the screenplay was sh choppy. Some of the writing was, eh. It was all, sometimes it was just all over the place to me, it felt. I did, like I said, I did have fun with it, but I think that the story could have been executed a little better. There's one aspect that I really liked, and it was one of my favorite things of the film when they did this, but I will get to that in my spoiler review because I wasn't ruined by it. I didn't, it wasn't in the trailers. And honestly, it's one of my favorite parts, and I, I really would like people to have that same kind of experience. There was a lot of stupid characters in this film, but I know that's a lot of horror movies. But I, I felt like a lot of people made very stupid decisions. And uh, this one really felt a lot, and I liked the I liked the third act, I liked the way it ended, but this one did feel a lot like the middle of a trilogy, which it is. And you knew that there was going to be a Halloween ends, I believe, next year. Some stakes are kind of taken away here. It did feel like a middle of the trilogy film, but I, I still really had fun with it. And I'm looking forward to seeing the whole trilogy, you know, as a whole. I will say I do think that you should watch, you know, the 1978 classic again and the 2018 one again, just to give it a refresher before you see this, if you haven't seen this already. 
just um, I do think that would help a little because you know there's callbacks and stuff and, and like I said like like Lindsay and Tommy return it's just the complete three films so far in this continuity so I think that it would benefit to watch those two again to brush up on what happened I think that it, that would be really important it's not necessary I mean I still basically understood a lot of the stuff but it could be a fun back-to-back -back movie marathon please comment down below what did you think of Halloween Kills please keep the spoilers out of it or at least label it spoilers and please just blow up that comment section did you like this installment are you excited for the final one the supposed final one next year i think but what would i give halloween kills halloween kills gets a 7.5 out of 10 from me that's a 7.5 out of 10 for Halloween Kills. If you liked what you've seen here and you want to see some more, click around here to see something else. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video with the Halloween fans in your life. Hit that notification bell. Keep an eye out for my spoiler review on Halloween Kills. Subscribe and come to the Upside Dan.